All right, moving on. Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter has caused some controversy. And now with Twitter's human rights team eliminated, legal experts voice alarm about what it could mean for users around the world. Tina Trin has this report. In the wake of massive layoffs at Twitter, some online experts are criticizing the decision to eliminate the company's human rights team, saying it threatens the safety of Twitter users around the world. People often take to Twitter to bring attention to local protests or human rights situations. Twitter's human rights team worked to establish user policies that defended freedom of expression while safeguarding privacy and safety. Without it, and cuts to Twitter's content moderation staff, some users could be in danger, experts say. It's not as though the existence of a human rights team magically made Twitter a place where there was no abuse, but we were seeing slow progress over the last few years. And it's terrifying to think that all that might be washed away. Since Elon Musk took over Twitter, the company has been in upheaval, losing advertisers and leading some users to threaten to leave. Musk says he's working to make Twitter financially sustainable. Despite the job cuts, the company says it hasn't changed its content moderation policies. Twitter didn't respond to a request for comment for this story. Some observers worry that repressive regimes, such as China and Iran, could expand their influence operations by manipulating Twitter's account verification system. But Musk says fake accounts will be targeted. We will be vigorously pursuing any impersonation. If someone is engaged in deception, um, and then, then we, will, we will suspend that account, at least temporarily. During the war in Ukraine, Twitter's human rights team prevented governments and state-affiliated media from posting content of prisoners of war, according to experts. And it fought government attempts to censor content, such as in India. Without having that team there and without having the different regional teams who can contextualize different types of, let's say, hate speech on the platform or incitement to violence, then we're kind of left with an empty office on the other side and very few resources to react to some really troubling developments on the platform. Musk says he'll form an advisory council to address content moderation decisions. For now, the churn at Twitter may be unsettling users in some parts of the world. If you're a user in a repressive environment, say like Saudi Arabia or right now in India or in other places, you're, you're sort of hoping that the company will protect you, that the company will protect your, your user data, so your direct messages, um, that the company will protect your ability to engage in speech, will protect you against threats or incitement to violence. As the company struggles to gain financial footing, the recent changes have some weighing the risks of tweeting. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.